idealism in a world of survivalism will get you killed. What am I talking about? Well, an article came out on RT today, and it's it's really telling. Uh, there are many times when I just shake my head as, as all the different pepper channels will sit there and go through all their idealism with you, you know, and then throw in all the what-ifs and make up these imaginary scenarios, and a lot of them have no clue, really, of what they're talking about. They're just making content. That's what they are. They're content creators, right? They're just making content. The problem with that is... Sometimes, when they're making that content, the ideologies that they're putting out there are dangerous, extremely dangerous. And you've probably heard about many times, um, say you get stranded on a, on a deserted island somewhere, and they tell you not to take, you know, here's the idealism, you know, don't waste your time on taking stuff to spell out help. Use those same materials to build a raft so you can, you know, <laughs> raft on out of there, right? We've all heard about that. We're all familiar with that type of idealism. The reality of it is, is if you don't know what you're doing and you build a raft and you take out off over the ocean in a raft you built, if you don't know what you're doing, there are so many points of failure that could happen there and then you're shark bait so you know that whole idealism thing if you do know a little bit about building boats if you do know a little bit about the materials you're using to build your boat or your raft well that's fine but to the average person that doesn't you may have just put them on their own death sentence when the original idea might have worked just fine. See, we gotta, we gotta be, we have to be more knowing. We have to, we have to be one up, right? Always gotta be one up. Well, there's some individuals that are damn glad, I'm sure, today that they wasn't out there trying to be one up on everybody else. They just stuck with the tried and true method, and they're alive to tell about it. Stranded sailors saved. Uh, stranded sailors, sorry, saved by spelling out help with palm leaves. How many times have we heard about this? You know, you'll see all the little memes, the cartoon images where somebody spells out help, and uh, you know they tell you nobody's coming. You know, you have to save yourself, self rescue, and I'm all about that. But it doesn't mean that you don't spell out help and palm leaves too. You know what I mean? And if you do want to take on the bright idea of building yourself a raft or a boat to be able to get out of there, I would damn sure make sure I left a message just in case if my ideological ass didn't know how to build a boat properly and I wound up shark bait, then maybe it would be a good idea to leave a note back at where I left at so people might have an idea as to what happened. Like, I don't know, a simple note, like I'm a dumbass, I'm probably shark bait, something, right? <laughs> Let's get back to the article, though. It says, three stranded sellers were rescued from a deserted island in the Pacific on Tuesday, ending a week-long ordeal after their boat was damaged, the U.S. Coast Guard said in a statement this week. Rescuers were able to locate the castaways thanks to a help sign that they spelled out with palm leaves on the beach. The men, who were all described as experienced sailors, set sail in a 20-foot sleuth, no, I had to say sleuth, open skiff from Palawat Atoll in Federated States of Micronesia on March 31, according to Coast Guard data. On April 6, a female relative alerted the Joint Rescue Subcenter in Guam that her three uncles had not returned home. A large-scale search effort was launched in a U.S. Navy P-8 Poisedon aircraft from Kadena Air Base in Japan was sent to the search area, which initially spanned over 78,000 square nautical miles, according to the U.S. Coast Guard. On April 7, the plane located the castaways and confirmed their presence on the deserted 
Paiklot Atoll, which is around 100 nautical miles northwest of Palawan. The help sign played a key role in the rescue efforts, the Coast Guard said. The mariners spelled out help on the beach using palm leaves, a crucial factor in their discovery. This act of ingenuity was pivotal in guiding rescue efforts directly to their location, Lieutenant Chelsea Garcia, the search and rescue mission coordinator, said. Huh. Imagine that, and yet you've got all those I- idealists out there telling you, oh, don't do that, no, save, your, save yourself, put, put all your time and effort into sa-. and these people don't know how to build a boat either, right? But hey, it sounds good, and many people will look up to them if they keep spewing that kind of bullshit out of their mouth, for whatever reason, I don't know, I don't know, I do not know, I don't get it. I don't get it. Day after day after day, right here on YouTube, spewing out bullshit out of their mouths nonstop. It's mind-blowing to me. A lot of those prepping channels would tell you, oh, don't do this. Don't spell out help. No. No, that's dumb. Nobody's coming to save you. That's dumb. I thought the whole idea of having a a preparedness channel on YouTube was to help people survive, not to fill them with a bunch of bullshit ideologies. I don't know. I don't know. I suggest people do what I did when I got into preparedness. I started from scratch. I didn't follow anybody else's list. I didn't follow anybody else's nonsense. I asked myself, what is it going to take to survive? And I came up with a much different list and a much different set of priorities than these yahoos on YouTube. But, it is what it is. But don't forget, idealism in a world of, world of survivalism will get you killed quick. That's a fact. Shalom.